All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're a couple minutes after. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I've got uh, the participants up so I can see if anybody answers any or has any questions. Let me make sure I got them all up. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to kind of go over the presentation. I'll probably, you'll probably see me flip back and forth between the software and the um, uh, presentation. Um, it's not nothing spectacular, just kind of bullet points of what I'm going to uh, be able to cover with you. So um, a little bit about myself, uh, a little bit about my background. Um, my name is Scott Knudsen. Um, I'm with Hoopla. Um, my background is that I have been a home inspector, have a, uh, owned a home inspection company uh, for the last 20 years. Uh, a few years ago, we were looking at uh, some CRM software that could kind of bring everything that we were utilizing all into one. So, for example, uh, we had like a MailChimp constant contact. We had Hootsuite. We had Buffer doing our social media posts. Uh, we had another texting service that would send out text messages uh, and so forth. Uh, we had a CRM and it just seemed like, you know, we had all these different logins. We had all these different platforms and nothing communicated with each other. Um, and it just got frustrating. So uh, a few years ago, we started looking, we got into, um, we got, we got close. Um, I believe the software that we went into was called, um, uh, what was it? Zoho. Zoho was about the closest thing that we could see, uh, but the problem with Zoho was, and I'm not sure if that's still the case, but they would limit how many contacts that we could do. They would limit how many um, uh, uh, users we could use or we could have in the platform, and uh, that became frustrating. I just checked the other day MailChimp and uh, same situation. They only give you a certain amount of users, and then they have a tier pricing on, okay, so if you send zero to uh, 2,500 uh, emails, for example, it's this cost. If you've got a database that's got 4,500 in it, uh, it's going to be this price. And by the time you get done, if you've got a decent sized database, then you're looking at, you know, you could be looking at $100 just for MailChimp. And so I, I wanted to have something that I could uh, consolidate. So what I did was I reached out, found a company that could help me build this, and from there move forward. And uh, that's how we became Hoopla. So um, originally, we were looking at uh, building a reputation management software, and uh, it became a little bit more uh, than what that was. It kind of grew from there. And so we delayed the launch of it until we could get everything uh, rolling in together. And we're adding new features all the time. So I'm going to go through some of these features. Uh, but that's a little bit about my background. Uh, so basically, like I said, I've been doing home inspections for 20 years. Uh, I know what a home inspector needs. I know how we use this for my company right now. Uh, we're located in Orange County, California. Um, there are four of us uh, with the with the software, and we basically have Hoopla up uh, running as well as our scheduling and um, report writing software. We utilize Spectora. So uh, those are the two softwares that we have up and running at the same time. Um, and I'll kind of go through how we utilize it and um, uh, the features that it does. So there's a lot of features with Hoopla. So I'm going to try to go over. We've got an hour, so I'll be able to probably get through most of them and then be able to answer any questions at the end. Um, but first and foremost, Hoopla is a fully integrated CRM. So it will handle all your contacts uh, that you put into it. It'll manage them. You can segment them. You can tag them. You can sort through them. Um, you can actually, how we pull our data from Spectora into Hoopla is we have a Zapier integration. So what we do is we utilize Zapier. Uh, you can get a free account online. I think their free account gives you 100 Zaps, which is probably more than uh, what most home inspectors are doing uh, in a month. And uh, so anytime we put in um, a new client or a new realtor inside of um, uh, Spectora, uh, it'll automatically pull into Hoopla. And we've actually got automation set up to where, say, for example, a new agent comes in uh, to Spectora uh, that we haven't worked with before. We can tag that uh, client as, or that agent as a new uh, agent and automatically put them in a sequence of emails and text messages that will follow up with them and get them in front of us. So it's all automated. We don't have to go in there and do anything um, after the initial setup. So fully integrated CRM. Uh, so I'm gonna flip over so you can actually see what the platform looks like. 
Um, but basically, uh, here is the contacts. This is where you can actually go in and pull your data in. Uh, this is a dummy account, so this data isn't real um, in here, but you can see here where we've got uh, different records. Uh, say, for example, I wanted to do a quick search and say, okay, I'm looking for Sam, for example, or I'm going to look for a John. I think I saw John in there. Um, or a J-O-N, and there's Jordan, so we can actually go in here and we can actually click on this and we can see all the data and we can see everything that we've done with this client. So uh, so back to it, uh, it also has a social media planner built into it. So this was something that I wanted to uh, make sure that this was built into the planner. So uh, I don't know how uh, some of you guys are running your businesses, but if you've got, if you're just a one-man show, you're doing it yourself or you have um, you know, uh, 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 stay at home mother answering your phone calls, doing this type of stuff, or if you have a VA doing it. Uh, but the social media planner is something that will always, um, will, can basically, you can schedule posts and you can schedule them out as far as you want. So, and you can schedule them across five different platforms. So um, that's what I wanted with this. Uh, the company that we used before this, we used a couple of different ones, but Hootsuite is probably one of the bigger ones. Uh, I think there's Social Post. I think there's a few other ones. Uh, again, they were, you know, anywhere from $25 to $100 uh, to be able to do that. And then I know some companies out there that will charge you to manage this type of stuff. Uh, and it's not that hard to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and show you here how we handle the social media posts. And I'm actually going to go into um, my account here. Uh, let's go into signature because it shows a little bit better. Uh, so we can go in here to the um, rep. Let's see, it is in um, marketing. And then here's the social planner. So basically what you would do from here is, is that um, you would just go in and say, all right, I need a new post. Hit create new post. And then you're going to select the accounts that you want it to go out to. So uh, our system will handle uh, Google My Business, Facebook, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. We're working on a, a TikTok feed as well, um, but we're not quite there yet with that one. So basically what you would do is you would just type in your content. And I'm just going to kind of go through this, type in the content. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need an image. So if I'm going to go here, I'm just going to click on image. And I can either go in and pull out the images that I've already got saved in here. So for example, I've got some real estate terms that I might want to use. And say, for example, I wanted to use this one right here. Uh, here you can see what the post would look like. This is Instagram, Google My Business, and so forth. You can go in here and put the hashtags. You can do your call to action. Uh, you can set all that up. Say, for example, all right, I don't want to do this one. I want to uh, use one that is connected off of... Um, uh, we can go, we've got a link to Unsplash and Pixabay. So you can actually go in here and say, all right, I'm going to look for this. Let's, let's just look for a home image. And then that'll sort that up. These are images that are royalty free. So you don't have to pay for these. So basically I just click on that one. There's your house. There's your comment going to be in there. Uh, you can, like I said, you can see just now. So this is what the post will look like. And then from here, once you're done with that, you can go in here and you can either post it now or you can go in here and you can schedule posts. So if I'm going to schedule the post, I can go into Wednesday, uh, let's do uh, 520 AM and then hit schedule post. Uh, I'm not going to schedule this one because we haven't uh, you know, finished it. Um, but once you post that, it's going to go across all those platforms. Twitter sometimes has a limitation on how many characters you can have. So sometimes I don't always post to Twitter. Um, but you can actually go in here and you can see, uh, you can open up your planner and you can schedule out as far as you want. So here's one that I did to promote this business. Um, we can actually go in and take a look at that and see what it looks like. Um, here's one that I did the other day. You can see a preview. So this was for Instagram. You can see what the post looks like, uh, and, uh, so forth. So that's the social media planner. That's something that's built into the software uh, that comes with the basic plan. Uh, no additional, um, you know, money for that one. So uh, let's go back into the social media. So any questions on the social media planner, just let me know. Uh, but that's something that I definitely wanted inside the software. Uh, the next one would be reputation management. So uh, there is uh, several companies out there that, I mean, 
I think the main one in our industry is in home inspection is going to be blip, um, but there are uh, other alternatives. They're not the only ones that are out there. Um, and this one, you know, there's so many different ways that you can do reputation management, uh, but we have that built into our software as well. So that comes with the software. You don't have to do anything different. It's not any of the upgrade plans, but basically in the social media planners, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. You can actually go into the contacts, and say, for example, I want to, I'm going to go back into uh, the data here. Say, for example, I want to go in here to the contacts and say, for example, I want to send every one of these people, all 200 of them, a review request. You just click on um, uh, select all 200 records, for example. Oops, select on that. And then from here, you just go over here where it says send review requests. Click on that. Uh, it's going to give you, please know the action will be formed uh, over time. So it's not going to be something that's going to be sent all at once. It's going to put it on a drip schedule. Hit procedure, and then you can go in here and say, I want to send a text or I want to send an email. Uh, you can schedule it all at the same time. You can do it in drip mode. And then all you have to do is go send review request. Um, the settings are set up on the back end to where you can go in and type your uh, what you want it to say, uh, if you want to add your logo to it and so forth, but you can do it this way as well. Uh, you can also automate it. So how we have it set up is that once uh, we've completed the inspection, we have it set to go out a couple of days after where they will get an email and a text message uh, asking for a review. We basically just give them the review link that we want them to uh, re leave a review, whether it be Yelp or Google or uh, Facebook, you can set it to however you want, and then they can uh, select that and that can be all automated or you can send it at once. Um, we also have it to where if somebody is on our chat bot, for example, we can actually go in there and um, after we've done communicating with them via chat, we can actually send them a review request saying, hey, uh, if you were happy with today's service, uh, would you mind leaving us a review? So that's all set up in the system. So no issues on that as well. Uh, let me go back. Uh, so if you guys have any questions on that, let me know on that. But that's kind of the logist of it. Um, the other place that you can do it is through, uh, if I go over here to where it says reputation, uh, you can actually do it in this area as well. So you can send a review request. Uh, once you connect your Google and My Business account, uh, so Facebook and Google My Business, you, it'll actually pull in your reviews in here so you can actually see them uh, here as well. Uh, you can actually go in and see your latest reviews. You can respond to them. Uh, so you can see that all here as well. So that's the. this is another way you can do it. Um, if you were going to set that up, for example, you would just basically go in here to review management and you can actually set up. So you just basically say, all right, here's the link that I want it set to. Um, here's the image I want to send out. If I want to send one out, here's the message. This would be for text message. And then if you wanted to send an email, uh, you could set that up as well. And then you actually can do, um, you can actually copy and paste your customer testimonials and embed that on your website. So um, this is all part of the software as well. So all in one. All right, so let's go to the next one. Uh, AI content generator. So this is something that uh, we just launched a few uh, weeks ago. Um, one of the things that um, I've had some issues with as a home inspector is trying to find time to write blogs. And ideally for SEO purposes, you should write uh, a blog once a week is what they tell you. Um, whether it be, um, you know, typically a home inspector would probably target uh, home buyers or real estate agents or provide information to realtors on how they can improve their business and so forth. But bottom line is, is that there's probably not going to be a lot of people that read that unless you're actually sharing that on social media as you've published the blog. Uh, but the other way is that uh, it's creating content for your website. And every time you create content for your website, Google sees that. And if it's good content, and it's uh, and it's been um, you know if it's uh, search engine optimized, then you're going to be able to uh, rank higher in Google. So uh, that's been something that we've been really focusing on uh, as a company is trying to get out a blog once a week. Uh, with that, it's been challenging because I don't have a lot of time and I'm not the best writer. So with the if anybody's ever heard of the Chat GPT, uh, that has been. Uh, all over the news the last couple of weeks. And it's been out since probably the end of last year. Um, it's actually been so popular that they're not really accepting anybody new on the platform right now. If you try to go in and sign up, it's really difficult to get in there. But what we've done here is we've actually embedded it into our software. So if you go down here to where it says AI content generator, 
it'll pull this up. So here is what we've got set up and we can actually go in here where uh, we can go through and say, for example, we wanna do some advertising copy for Facebook and we wanted to do a Facebook ads copy. What we would do here is we would say, all right, what's the name of your product or service or what does your product or service do? So here, uh, let's, let's think of some stuff here. So what's the name of your product or service? Um, let's see here, what your products or service do? Sometimes they get these backwards, so let's try this. So let's do uh, Signature. This is my home inspection company. And then let's say, uh, let's do a sewer scope inspections. Sometimes I flip that around, so let's make sure I don't flip it around on this one. And then we hit generate. And so this is basically uh, being populated by chat GPT. So here we, here, here's the Facebook ads copy. So say for your example, you were going to do a Facebook ad. Uh, you could actually type this in, not really have to think about much of it. And actually, it'll kick out the information for you. So for example, are you looking for a reliable resource to inspect your home sewer system? Look no further than Signature Home Inspection. Our expert team provides comprehensive sewer scope inspections so that you can ensure that your home is safe and secure. Schedule an appointment today and let us help keep your home in optimal condition and then even gives you some hashtags so from here you would just copy and paste that and uh, you know you could go ahead and uh, check it with uh, your uh, spell check uh, I have Grammarly running in the background uh, unfortunately I'm using uh, Safari today uh, and not Chrome so it's not actually going to do that right now but uh, I have it running in the background so it can make sure that it populates properly um, let's see here. So uh, let's go back and do another one. So this is one where we're doing a, a say, for example, I want to uh, write a blog article. Uh, so let's do here. Let's say, um, what does your inspection do? So I'm going to put 1500 words and then we're going to do, I'm going to target it towards a home owner. And then let's say, um, what's a good question here? I usually have these written up. Um, how long does a uh, tile roof last? So let's type that in. So how long does a tile roof last? So let's hit generate. These usually take a little bit longer. So we'll let this run through. And again, they're not, you know, it, it does take a few minutes, but let's look at this one. So um, uh, how long does a tile roof last? Let's read through it. Tile roofing is common choice for many homeowners as it is both anesthesia pleasing and long lasting. But how long exactly does a tile roof last? The answer to this question depends on a number of factors, including the type of tile used, the quality of installation and the local climate. Clay tiles are among the most popular type of tile roofing, blah, blah, blah. Concrete tiles and finally wooden shingle tiles are also an option for homeowners. So uh, what I would typically do from here is, is I would, you know, since I use WordPress, I would just copy and paste that, put that into WordPress. I would run it through um, uh, Grammarly, make sure all the Grammarly and all everything's set up correctly. And then we could actually use this as a post. Uh, after I've cleaned it up and verified it. So, you know, people always say, well, you want to make sure it doesn't get the, you know, false information. Uh, yes, that's true. But how long did this take me? This took me less than five minutes to pull this information. Um, this is the hardest part. Everything else is cleaning up. So uh, after we got this set up, I was playing around with it for over the weekend. I think we got it uh, set up on the system on like a Friday. And by Monday, I had 25 blog articles that were set up and ready to go. They're not all completed, but the base of, you know, the, the article subject, um, the word counts, everything's ready to go. I still have to put photos. I still have to spell check it, uh, but it's pretty quick, quick to do that. So um, this is something that's been a huge, huge um, um, that I've been just can't I couldn't wait to get on and going out. So uh, this is on that AI content generator. Um, so let's see here. Let me close this out. So let me go back out to um, all right. I'm gonna go back up here. Sorry, flip back forth. So that's the AI content writer. Anybody could ask questions on that? Just let me know. Uh, Facebook ads manager. This is something that we just uh, added yesterday. Uh, it's not ready to go yet. We're still messing around with it, but this is something that I think is going to be huge uh, for this CRM. 
where you can actually manage your Facebook ads inside of Hoopla, where you don't have to do anything else, but just connect your account. Everything's done on the, on the back end, and you could launch a Facebook ad in as little as five to uh, three to five clicks. So um, this is something that um, we're going to start testing um, this week and into next week. And if everything goes well, then we're going to uh, roll this out. So uh, we're, you would go into the Facebook uh, marketing tab down here. Um, we haven't even decided what we're going to charge for this or what uh, plan this is going to be in, because this is going to save people a lot of money. Right now, there's companies out there that are charging anywhere from 300 to up to 1000 just to manage your Facebook ads account. That's not including ad spend. So we're taking that out. Of, we're taking that middleman out of the equation and you'll be able to go in here and launch an ad campaign. So in here, you would just basically once you've connected your account. So uh, my Facebook account is connected to this one. So I would say, all right, I'm going to do a launch new campaign. Um, here's some stuff that will populate, kind of walk you through how to do everything. But I'm just going to go in here and kind of skip through this. So I'm going to do let's do. Um, I haven't set these up correctly or I haven't uh, set these up, but let me see here. Let's do um, cleaning. Say, for example, you're a pressure wash company. Uh, you could go in here and some of these are going to be automatically uh, created for you. Um, what I'll do is once we get this, um, uh, everything finalized, I'm going to go in and create some templates just for home inspectors that all you would have to do is say, for example, if you wanted to use this one, for example, if you're a pressure washing company, you would just click on that. And then you could go in here and say, all right, am I going to use a lead form, a landing page, or Facebook Messenger? Most people would use the lead form. You could go in here and set your daily budget. Say, for example, you want to send $45 a day. Here would be your website that you want to direct them to after they filled out the form, for example. And then you can do, you can pick your radius uh, from your location. Uh, you can do retargeting if you want. And then here's the optimal information. So you can actually go in and change this. So if you wanted to expand your targeting, if you wanted to add your own uh, image, if you created some new images, if you wanted to change the text. So here's the text right now that's automated. So you can go in here and change this up. Uh, you could say remove, you know, you can make any changes you want. You go in here and put 30% uh, off, for example. Uh, you can go in here and add a link to your privacy policy. And then you can actually add your Facebook pixel. So uh, here I would just put signature home inspection. And then from here, all I have to do is go launch campaign and that will launch the campaign. So once you get it connected, then what it does is it will bill your account. Uh, uh, the ad spend. And then from here, you could actually go into the reporting section. And uh, if you've got everything connected correctly, you can go in here and say, all right, I ran some Facebook ads. Uh, here's the campaign. And you can track everything right here inside of Hoopla. So uh, this is going to be something that's going to be great. I can't wait to get this rolling. Uh, we haven't done Facebook ads just because it's so complicated. It's not that easy to do. And that's why you have all these companies charging what they charge. And they're just making a killing off of it. And uh, and all the all the stuff on the back end is going to be done. So we didn't actually develop that uh, on our end. We actually teamed up with another company that we were able to integrate it with our software. Uh, so we actually, pay, you know, help, you know, we pay this company a certain amount and then we're able to connect it into our software and uh, provide it as a service. So uh, everything's good in there. So. Uh, any questions on that, let me know. But that's something that we're really excited about. It's going to be the Facebook marketing uh, ads where you can actually launch your campaigns. Like I said, it's when you saw how fast I launched that uh, in there. So let me see if there's another one here. I want to do cleaning. I think I already did that one. Let's go back to category. There was one in here for mold. Um, I'm actually going to probably test this with some mold. Um, it's, I think it's right here restoration. So here's one for mold. Uh, you can actually go in here and modify this if you wanted to. Uh, but some of these are going to be automatically added in here. These are uh, these, you know, like I said, you could actually go in there and create uh, an ad. You can copy this one if you wanted to and modify it and then save it and then test different ads. So you could create different ads and then over time test them and say, all right, this one's not working. This one's working. This one doesn't work so well. And you can actually go in and test it. You can make those changes. So uh, this is something that we just got into the system uh, last night and uh, wanted to make sure we had it so we could do it during this uh, this webinar. So that's the Facebook ad marketing uh, ads manager. Uh, SMS text marketing. 
Um, so this is something that um, we wanted to make sure that we had in the system. So um, text message marketing is, um, in my opinion, it's the quickest way to get uh, uh, to your clients. Uh, so for example, in our case, uh, it's going to be real estate agents for the home inspection side. Uh, if I'm on Hoopla, uh, it would be whoever I'm targeting, whether it be home inspectors, uh, pressure wash companies, mortgage officers. I mean, any, any type of business can utilize this software. Uh, so, uh, with this, what we typically do is we can either set it up where it can do automated text messaging. So for example, like I said earlier, uh, when a new agent gets pulled into the system, we will send them five or we'll send them eight emails, one email a week. And each email has a little bit about our company and basically stays in front of that client. And then what we do is we set it up to where they have a text message that they will get once a week. And you can set it up to where you can say, uh, for example, we have it set up to where they'll get a, a weekly maintenance tip every single week. And uh, until they either unsubscribe or say, hey, stop sending me text messages, which what we do is the first text message is typically we're giving them a coupon of $50 off their first inspection. And we can actually type in the coupon code, link that back to Spectora, and then that way we can track it that way. Uh, I don't know of very many home uh, real estate agents that are saying no to a $50 off coupon via text message. If they are and they don't want it, so be it. They're out of our system. We don't have to communicate with them anymore. Uh, and then we follow up with the, the home maintenance tips. Uh, I would say out of the 45 to 5,000 uh, text messages we send out, we've had maybe 75 uh, so far opt out. And so, um, and our hope is that eventually what happens is that we will, uh, one of these weeks, maybe it might be 52, you know, week 52, they get that text message, they might need an inspection and they can't get a hold of their inspector. And they're just going to respond to that message and say, hey, I need a home inspection. And boom, it did its job. We didn't have to do anything. It was all automated. So um, let's see. Let me go back to this one. Uh, also with email marketing, you can actually set that up in the system as well. So if you're currently using uh, an email marketing campaign like Constant Contact or MailChimp, uh, you can now get rid of that service and not have to use that. You can actually uh, do that inside of Hoopla. So let me give you an example here. So we can go into uh, the marketing. Uh, we go into the emails, we go into the templates, and in here you can actually see what an email template looks like. This is our first email that a client gets, uh, a realtor gets, and this is uh, you know our, our company name, uh, just an, uh, an image that we can put in here. Um, you know, a little bit of the verbiage. We've got some custom values in there. We got a link to where they can go in there and schedule an inspection. We have a link to a video. We have a link to um, a new homeowners checklist they can download. Um, so that's kind of what the email looks like. And then it's easy as building it here. Just click on that. It's basically a drag and drop. So if I want to move a button over here and put it right there, I can do that. If I wanted to go down and say, all right, I want to add an image. Uh, underneath that, I can do that. So it's really easy to build these emails. Uh, you can actually clone some of these that are in there. This one's actually going to be in the system where you can actually go in there and uh, clone it if you wanted to. So you don't have to duplicate a lot of this stuff on the bottom, uh, but they're really easy to build. And then from here, you would just hit save template, and then you can actually send it right here from this system if you wanted to. So I'm not going to save this because uh, that's just basically for demo purposes, uh, but you can actually build that right in uh, the platform. Let's see here. Conversations. Uh, conversations is the next piece that I want to talk about. Um, the problem that we were having as a home inspection company was that with all the platforms that are out there currently, like Facebook Messenger, you've got um, you've got a chat bot, you've got people text messaging, you've got people sending you an email, you've got people trying to reach you through Google My Business. Uh, all these different conversations were coming in and uh, we, we wanted to pull them all into one location. The problem that we were having was that somebody would send us a message through Facebook and say, hey, I need a home inspection. If I wasn't logged in and didn't see that right away, I would miss that lead. And it was frustrating because it'd be two days away. And I'm like, dang it, we just missed that lead. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to have a section where we can have conversations and everything pulled into one location. So uh, every anytime somebody has sent an email or sent a text message, um, or you can go in here, um, I don't have the, 
uh, the text message number set up yet. But you, if, if it was set up in here, uh, you'd see SMS right here. Let me see if I can pull it up on another account. I don't want to change that one. But you can see in here where it says email, uh, subject, click through that. Uh, you can send that through. So uh, here's this person. This person was sent an email. Um, it's going to say I'm successful again because this is a fake dummy account. But we can see every communication that's been had with anybody that's communicated through us. So if somebody sends us a Facebook message, it's going to come into here. If somebody's going to send us uh, a message through the chat bot, it's going to come into here. Uh, so all this communication is coming through the conversations tab. Um, if you, we, we do have an app. So when you download the app, the app any messages that come in here uh, will come in through the app as well. So if you're not sitting behind a computer, uh, it's after dinner time, somebody sends a message saying, hey, I need a quote. You'll get that on your phone and you can actually respond to it right then and there. If you're out on an inspection, you can do that as well. Uh, also, uh, if you have somebody else that's uh, working in your account, say, for example, you have a VA, they can download the app as well, and they would just log in with their credentials, and they would be able to respond as well. So uh, you can have multiple people on it. Uh, actually, phone calls can come in through that as well. Um, we would talk about that another thing, but the number that we assign you for the text messaging, they can. that's how they're going to communicate that. So you don't have to set up your own phone number uh, to do that on your end. So that all comes with this, with the platform. All right, so the next one would be unified messaging, just kind of the similar uh, back on this one. So again, everything's located into one system, uh, but uh, we call it uh, messaging conversations. Uh, it all comes in here. So uh, anything that's unread, what I do first thing in the morning is I come in here and um, uh, I take a look at it. It says unread, uh, anything that was recent, anything that was starred that we need to go back to, and then anything that was, uh, you know, that's been read or anything that's in all. So as long as you don't delete these, uh, this will stay in the system and you'll be able to go back and retrieve those anytime you wanted to. And then on the right hand side, you can actually see the contact information, uh, their email, phone. And then uh, here you can see uh, whether uh, they're uh, being sent emails, text messages, calls or voicemails. And then with the text message in here, um, I think if you have Google My Business and Facebook, that'll show up here as well. But we don't have that connected on this dummy account. And then you can see in here where the opportunities came in from. And then if they were added to any campaign or workflows, we can actually set that up where we can say, all right, I want to add them to this workflow. Uh, I want it to start on this time and date. You can all set that up there. So let's go back. Uh, next one would be sales and opportunities pipeline. Uh, so what this is, is this with the CRM, you typically have what's called a pipeline and our system, we call it opportunities. Uh, you can call it either or, but anytime a lead comes into your system, it can either come in through a form that you've got embedded on your website. It can come in through a chat bot. It can come in through a phone call. Um, but how we have it set up on our end is that anytime somebody fills out a form, whether it be a home inspection quote, uh, whether it be a customer complaint form, whether it be a contact us form, we are able to create those forms inside of Hoopla. And then you can take those and embed those into your website. And then from there, once they fill those out, then those come into our system. Uh, you know, you can use you can use it however you want, but with a home inspection, we have it set up that way. But for Hoopla, any type of lead that comes in that's asking for information about Hoopla, it pulls in there. So uh, to go in here, you would just go under the Opportunities tab, and you can see here all the leads that come in. So we've got these labeled lead. Uh, they're interested. They booked an appointment. They're not interested, and then we sold them. So from here, we can go in here, and we can tag how much that lead is worth. So in our system, if it's for a home inspection, we have it set up to where the home inspection, uh, say, for example, they go on the chat bot and they say, hey, I need a uh, quote for uh, an 800 square foot uh, manufactured home in Orange, California. Uh, from there, what I would do is on that chat bot, I would respond back and say, uh, what's the property address? They would give me the property address and then I could look it up and then I can respond back and say, this is how much it's going to cost. Um, so that's that. And then once you've done that, you can say, all right, I'm going to move it over here. So it's kind of, uh, you can actually move it through the pipeline. So that's why they call it a pipeline. And then you can actually set them up and you can move them back and forth. So 
Uh, it's kind of like a Trello board if you've ever dealt with Trello, but that's kind of what it looks like. So this is how we handle it on our end. Uh, we have it to where we've got uh, just like the main customer or like a main uh, inquiry or a main lead setup, and then we have a customer support. I'm not going to go in and show you all that setup, but we can help you set that up if uh, that's something you wanted to use uh, with the platform. Uh, the next one will be appointment calendars. You can set up as many uh, calendars in the system as you want. So if some people are using Calendry right now, I know that's a popular one. Uh, I used to use Calendry until we had this set up. So now we can set it all up in the back end and you can set up as many calendars as you want. So here you would just go up to calendars and you can actually go in here and you can say, all right, I need to book an appointment. You can type in the name and you can set up. So we do have a lot of people request that, hey, can you set this up to book inspections? You could, but we haven't set anything up to where they can sign agreements and stuff like that. So we still utilize Spector for that because it's all automated. It's tied to the home inspection software. Uh, we would probably utilize this for a home inspection company is that we would say, for example, if somebody calls in and says, hey, I need to talk to Steve. I have a question on my report. And then we would say, well, when was the inspection or what was the property address? And that inspection could be a week ago. Well, Steve is out doing an inspection and I don't like my home inspectors to be answering phone calls when they're doing somebody's inspection. So what we could do with this is, and I haven't set up yet, is schedule uh, some time with the inspectors where they have their own calendar. And then when somebody calls in, we could say, we could text them or email them a link, say, here's the link to the uh, home inspector schedule, click on that, and then you can set up a call with them directly, and then you can schedule a call. So uh, that's how I would see us utilizing this type of calendar. Um, you know, you could get really detailed in there and you could set up a lot of different ways, but that's how we utilize it. We don't typically use it so much on the home inspection side, but we do utilize it on Hoopla side to schedule appointments and schedule demos and so forth. So, and then you can have all kinds of automations done with it. So, um, let's see here, website funnel builder. So on our uh, higher end plan, if there's somebody that does not have a website or they want to build a funnel for their uh, Google AdWords or Facebook ads, for example. So there's two different, they, they pretty much look the same. Um, a website's going to be several more pages. A funnel, you might not even know that there's any difference. Uh, but basically what a funnel's job is to funnel you into making a purchasing decision or making you schedule an inspection. And so a funnel's built a little bit differently than a website. That's kind of my best explanation of what the differences are. But you can actually build websites and you can actually build funnels inside here. So let me go up in here to the sites. Here you go in here and we're just going to say, okay, let's see what a website. I just kind of pulled this one up here so I can say, all right, let's look at what a plumber looks like. Um, and here is one that's a pre-built template. So we can actually go in here and we can say, all right, what does this going to look like? Uh, here is a plumber site. So you could actually modify this. You could go in here and make the changes here and actually use this as your own website. So if you didn't have a website or you were thinking about building one, you could actually go in here into the website builder. This is kind of the template, what it looks like. But you could actually go in here and you can say, all right, I'm going to edit this and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make a change on this, this first page here. So you can actually go in here and change uh, the verbiage. You can change the images. Here's the contact form. You can make all these changes in this pre-built funnel, change the, the information here. Uh, you can change the title. So you could actually go in and build your own website if you wanted to. So um, that's part of this, uh, the, the uh, uh, software as well, or has that capability. And then in the funnel, uh, if you wanted to go in and see what a funnel looks like, here's one is like for free teeth whitening. Let's go look at this one. Um, let's say, let's look at what it looks like here. So you can see what a funnel. So it looks like a website, but it's basically just a one page lead gen. So if I was going to, for example, do a Facebook ad, this is where I would put in there is I would want to funnel them to this website. So that way, once they click on this, then they would get a little bit of information about our company. And then they could go in here and say, all right, I need to claim my free teeth whitening. Once they fill out this form, then you can put it on an automation to where you can get their information. You can start targeting them, targeting them with ads. You can send them emails. You can send them text messages. You've basically collected their data so you can do whatever you want with it once they've Fill that out, uh, and all there, all you've had to give up is a free uh, teeth whitening for that information. 
So with that, uh, we have inside here, you can actually go in here and say, all right, let me go in here and go to this one. I'm gonna go back into funnels. We have uh, connected it to where you could actually go in and you could build, you can have access to any of these that are in the template library. So here are all the funnels. So if you're, uh, for example, an insurance company, you could go in here and you have access to all these funnels and you can modify them however you want. Uh, same with the website. If I click out of here, uh, and I want to go into websites and I want to go in and I want to build a new website. I'm going to go into the website template library and say, for example, we don't have any just for home inspectors, but I would say home services would be the closest. You could go in here and say, all right, I want to utilize uh, this one here. And this is what it would look like. We could actually change it out. I think I've got one in here already. Let me back out of here. Um, it's, well, we showed the plumber one. So you can actually go in and, and find a template that you want to look like your website and actually build one inside uh, the system. So unlimited access to those templates and uh, funnels uh, on, on the plan that has the funnel and template builder. All right. Let's see, form and survey builder. I know this seems like a lot. We've got some times, I'm gonna kind of go a little bit quicker through this, but you can build as many forms and surveys in the platform as you want. Uh, form would be anything that you would just create and put on your website, surveys. You could actually build a survey and email those out. So if you wanna get a gauge of you know, how one of your inspectors is doing or how they're all doing, and then uh, the form is basically, you could create a form to where, say for example, somebody scans a QR code, it's tied to the form. And then once they open that, uh, once they scan that code, they would fill out the information, submit it, and then it goes into your system. So that's the form and survey builder. Uh, we also have a live chat widget. Uh, if you don't have a live chat on your uh, on your computer right now, let me go into this right here. So I'm going to go into our website here. Uh, here's our home inspection website. Here's the live chat down here. You would be amazed since we put this on there, how many people are actually communicating with us through this live chat. Um, we get people communicating with us through this every single day. Uh, there's a lot of people that just don't want to pick up the phone. And so what they do is they would just click on this. They would fill out the information. Here's a form, giving an example of what a form looks like. Uh, this is a pop-up form where if they stay on our website for a certain amount of time, um, they can actually fill this out and join our newsletter. Uh, you could actually tie this to uh, them receiving um, uh, an article, for example, or if you have a home maintenance book that you could tie to this, you could do that. Uh, but back to the chat uh, here, uh, they would fill out their information, their mobile, their email, and then the message. And then once they hit send, they have just provided you with the information that you've collected and now it's in your database. And then from there, you would just go into the system and it's going to pop in here into the conversations and then you can respond to them via message. And what's nice about it is it's a it's a text-based chat. And so when you respond back, they don't have to be on the computer to receive that message. It'll actually go to their phone. So if they left and you didn't get to them in time, you respond back, they could be up in the kitchen, fix some dinner and boom, it goes on their phone and then they can actually communicate with you via text. So uh, you don't have to always sit behind the computer to text with this. So uh, this is the preferred method of communication now. Uh, more and more people want to communicate via text versus calling your company. I just see this is growing more and more uh, every day. Uh, for example, Frontier Airlines, you are not able to call Frontier Airlines anymore. Everything's going to be done through chat uh, or through their social media uh, messaging platforms. And I think that's just, uh, they, you still might be able to call, but they're going away from the phone. Uh, live chat widget, uh, digital products and course builders. So you can actually build uh, training programs inside the software. So uh, for example, if you went down here to uh, sites and you go up here into memberships and dashboards, you can actually go in here and build courses uh, where you can actually set up. I'm going to go into my account here and go into um, the sites and then I'm going to go into memberships. Um, I've got, so whenever some, oh, actually I had to go into Hoopla, sorry. When I go into the automation or into the sites, I go into memberships, I can look at my products, aka classes, and I can actually set these up inside here and then we can set them up. So say, for example, somebody signs up with us, 
uh, we have them go through an onboarding course. And so as you can see in here, how many members we have currently in that onboarding course, we're working on a fast track course as well. But basically once they click on that, you can actually go in here and you can actually build um, your different uh, courses. So say, for example, I wanna edit this one. Uh, here is our launch pad. Uh, this is the very first thing that we have people do when they get into our system is go to set the stuff up and we can just copy and paste the links and actually build a, a course. Um, what I want to eventually do with this is on our home inspection side is, is I want to build a training course for our home inspectors. So say, for example, their first course would be uh, what to do prior to the home inspection. Uh, we would probably go over, hey, pull up Google, pull up the address, look at the house. Uh, make sure you've got everything set up in your account correctly. Make sure that the times look right. Make sure the address is set up correctly. And then the next course would be uh, driveway speech. Uh, you could set it up like that. And then the next course would be, uh, you know, you know, taking photos around the house, all sides of the house. Uh, the next one could be, you know, uh, turning up, you know, turning the house on, you know, going in and turn all the lights on, opening all the windows, all the blinds, um, making sure that everything's running. Uh, next course could be how to inspect a bathroom. So you could actually do this, create a course. And then whenever you hire somebody, you could have them go through the course. So they have a good idea of what you're doing on a home inspection and start there. So uh, that would take some time. But if you had time uh, when it's a slow season, you could easily set that up here in the course section. Uh, let's see, premium support, we're getting close because I think we're getting close to the end of the time, but I'm going to go through some of this. So premium support, uh, this is what we're constantly working on. Um, uh, eventually, what we're going to do is we have a company that we can sub this out to, uh, but right now we're able to handle it uh, pretty fairly uh, easily to handle the support. Uh, the only downside is we are on the West Coast. Some of our clients are on uh, the East Coast, and obviously, if they wake up at 6 a.m. and they send us a message, we're not going to be on. So we do have some time constraints as far as the support goes. Um, but what happens is that um, you can actually go into the software. If you go down here where it says training support, uh, every uh, you'll be able to go in here and you can say, all right, I want to go through business setup. And most of the questions that most people have will be right here in the videos. So say, for example, you say, hey, I want to need to know how to add users and restrict access. You would just go into here, click on that, and then boom, there's the video. Uh, we try to do videos on, on everything platform. that we can possibly come up with. So if somebody says, hey, I need to know how to do this and we don't have a video, then we can easily make one and then update this in the training support. You can also access it down here at the bottom. Uh, you can say, uh, go back in here and say, uh, you can find the support videos here if you wanted to. You can search for answers. Say, for example, you wanted to do um, chat bot. And you can go in here and say, all right, I need to go over the live chat overview and boom, there's the video. So uh, we're constantly trying to improve this. When we first started out, we didn't have much of a, a system set up, but we finally found one where we can upload all the videos pretty quickly and respond to them. Um, you know, usually when we first log in, uh, we're able to do that. So um, then you can go back into the training support. Um, go back to the business owl categories. Again, social media planner, if you have questions on that, uh, we've got videos on how to set all that stuff up. Um, so what does this cost? So the one thing is that we have the CRM. Uh, th this is what I was talking about earlier was is that you have all these um, you know, uh, software that we were currently using before. So for example, we had a CRM. Uh, we had a, a separate company that did our sales funnels. Uh, we had a separate website builder. We had another one that built surveys and forms. We had to subscribe for another one for email marketing. We had another one that had two-way SMS marketing. Um, we had another one like calendar for booking and reports, workflow automations, courses and products, call tracking, reputation management, and so forth. This all adds up. And so with this, Hoopla includes all of that in our platform. Uh, we've got basically two price, oops, we've got um, two pricing plans and we're coming up at the end of the hour, not quite an hour, but we've got uh, the standard plan, which is 97 a month. Uh, it's basically the fully integrated CRM, unified messaging, marketing automation, pipeline management, automated scheduling, 
built in two way SMS texting, reputation management, live web chat, email marketing, social media planner, AI content generator. If you were to go in there and try to price these out, you're looking at five, six hundred dollars. Ninety seven dollars a month is a steal on this. And this is going to be a limited time. Once we get to a certain level of subscribers, uh, that rate's going to go up. Uh, the professional plan, which is the next plan up, uh, this one is the one that has the website builder, the funnel builder, the blogging, membership area, uh, invoice and text to pay. And then it also has a payment processor. So if you wanted to, you could uh, collect payment on site via the payment processor. We have it connected through Stripe. And so what you could do is you could set it up where you say, hey, um, you could type in your, your pricing for your certain uh, home inspections, and you could actually text the client uh, an invoice, and they could actually pay uh, through that text. Um, with this, uh, we've got the free onboarding special. Typically, we charge $199 for that, uh, but this is all uh, included uh, with uh, when you sign up. Um, and um, if you guys are interested in it, uh, oops, sorry. I've got this uh, set up here. Uh, you can always sign up at hooplacrm.com. Uh, if you have any questions, you can go on there and reach out to us, uh, ask us any questions. Uh, does anybody have any questions? That's pretty much the logist of it. We're wrapped up a little bit early. Let me see if I can go through here and see if there's anything else that we wanted to go through. Uh, reporting, onboarding course. Like I said, this is something that would be set up uh, once somebody signs up, they would just go through the onboarding course, uh, the AI generator, um, Facebook marketing, uh, all this stuff. We haven't priced this out yet, uh, just because, like I said, it's it's new, uh, but it's still going to be relatively uh, cheap compared to what everybody else is charging right now uh, to do that. Uh, here's the payments option. Uh, we can actually go in here and say, okay, I want to go in here and I want to set up a, a new invoice, or you could actually do a new reoccurring payment. So say, for example, I know a lot of home inspectors want to try to set up a reoccurring charge for like, you know, pay us 50 bucks a month or 35 bucks a month. And uh, we will come out and inspect your house once a year, uh, do like a maintenance inspection. And it's just put it on a recurring payment like that. So you could actually set that up. Uh, similar to what we do, how it's set up on how uh, when somebody signs up, uh, it just automatically, it's a subscription service that automatically bills. You could set that up. You could create a new invoice here. Uh, once it's created uh, in here, it actually sets it up inside your Stripe account once you've connected it, and then everything gets built through your Stripe. So uh, I've never had any issues with Stripe. Stripe is pretty much the standard for uh, computer companies these days or software companies. Um, so um, I've never had any issues with them. Uh, so it's been great for us so far. But you can actually set that up and send out invoices uh, in that as well. Um, but that's pretty much the software. Anybody have any questions? Um, feel free to reach out to me on the email uh, or a text message. Let me give you our contact information again. Uh, so it's basically hooplacrm.com. Uh, the email is, and I should have put this in here, uh, it's it's hello at meethoopla.com. Uh, we're actually redesigning a website and uh, that should be out in the next couple of weeks. Um, but uh, you can reach us right now on Hoopla CRM and you can actually sign up there as well. So uh, if anybody doesn't have any questions, uh, appreciate it. Thank you guys for attending the, the webinar. And like I said, if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know.